Jeremy Veldman, welcome to another episode of Telescope Tips. Now tonight we're at our dark sky location. Hot June night, but we're gonna battle the elements tonight, set up our telescopes, and we should see some good stuff tonight in uh, the early summer sky, summer constellations come out. So this is what goes on at one of our dark sky observing sessions. Rick's workstation. Uh, Rick's got his Dobbs set up as well as binoculars over here. And tonight we're looking at actually my secondary spider and um, the uh, contraption on the top of my telescope, my 20 inch Dobb that holds the secondary mirror in place. I kind of messed it up when I was trying to collimate it. Rick is going to work on it. We're going to actually take it apart tonight, work on it, and see if we can get it lined up correctly. This collimation has been a huge issue for me over the last month or so. Honestly, I forgot. So now that we got the telescope built, we got to work on collimating it. So my scope's collimated. Excellent work once again by Rick Honey. Now I gotta let my mirror cool down to settle to ambient. It's gonna take about another hour or so before I can get really good seeing conditions. And see collimation is a bit, both a science and an art. Kind of a, uh, definitely a process to it. But uh, should be good to go for the evening. So here's an observing tip. <laughs> We're talking about equipment that you need for setting in for a long night of observing. And my buddy Brian here, and uh, he's my new best friend because he's got the RV. So in addition to the telescope and the drinks, make sure you got the RV, fully air conditioned for a hot night in June, as well as equipped with all the drinks, food, place to sleep, everything you need. And of course, Brian, a lot, most of the times he takes the RV out whenever we go to our observing sessions. And uh, we've actually, settled in for a long night. We've actually spent a few hours in the RV. So um, yeah, you're out late at night, it's three o'clock in the morning, you get tired, 
it's nice to have somebody like Brian who's got an RV where he can crash for a few hours, wake up, and then pack up and go home at dawn as opposed to in the middle of the night. Or if you get tired while observing, that just an hour nap makes all the difference. Yeah, there you go. Just take a nap, take the edge off, and then get up and keep going again. So RV, it's nice to have when you're out observing. settle in for a long night of observing and battle the elements and uh, it should be a great night. Sun is setting, crescent moon is going to set early tonight, summer constellations are out, this is a great time of year to be observing. Now I remind you guys that we, the Memphis Astronomical Society meets once a month, first Friday of each month at Christian Brothers University, Assessi Hall, room 155. The meeting starts at 8 o'clock p.m. and if it's clear we conduct two dark sky observing sessions at this site. Uh, we can see it, me, myself, as well as the other amateur astronomers behind me, and uh, it's a great opportunity to explore the universe and uh, see a lot of different through views of the universe through a lot of different telescopes. Our, our website is memphisastro.org. We're also on Facebook and YouTube. If you like this video as well as others in, this, in the series, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash memphisastronsociety. For Jeremy Veldman with the Memphis Astronomical Society, we'll see you guys on our next episode. There we go. Now we're talking glow in the dark Memphis Astronomical Society logos. Look at that. How about that? I'm telling you, don't leave home without them. They're also a safety feature. Is there any doubt, right? That's right. We're ready to go.